What's going on YouTube? Too sketchy coming at you. And today we're gonna take a look at all the mechs for the Polanya faction currently available in Iron Harvest and discuss their strengths and well weaknesses. This video does reflect the alpha, so content is subject to change. Alright, so let's get started with the PMZ9, a four-legged can of beans capable of tearing apart any dumbass standing in its way. The nightmare of any foot soldier. <laughs> AKA Strashnik. The early game is your world. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Dreams do come true. Wait, this, this is the wrong page. This speedster is the definition of a drive-by. It's the only mech that can walk and talk at the same time. As it greets you with its two machine guns like a cheerleader twirling her hair, its 300 HP and light armor says, I'm the firstborn and mom loves me more. It's the annoying little dog that barks at absolutely everything. <laughs> Oh, oh, and did I mention it's a can? So don't go thinking it's the only mech you'll ever need because soon you'll find out that nearly any type of armor piercing rounds will turn this hero into a zero real quick. The PMZ7. Run, Forrest, run! You thought the stress stick was fast. <laughs> Wait until you see this carton of milk. What? Dude, why are they all like grocery items? So everyone builds him b because of this. They called it the war to end all wars. Unfortunately, you, you can't do that yet. So we use him like this. Oh shit, move, 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 move. The Schmiawe, or Brave, is a scout that finds out what's over there and, and comes back, well, hopefully, in one piece. 400 HP and a long range rifle makes him perfect for that. Tanky, but not really tanky. Melee, but not really melee. Sniper mech? I don't know. Just just use him to clean up the bad guys that don't quite get the memo. The PMZ-11. Lauza. Wow. Lauza. Lauza. I, I don't know how you say that. I'll just, he just looks like a boxer, dude. Honestly, instead of Lauza, I'd like you to meet uh, Mike the... <laughs> Mike the Mech Tyson. <laughs> True to its name, it packs quite a punch. <laughs> With 500 HP and medium armor, it gives this slow moving mech the ability to take a few hits, bob and weave, and allow it to go in for the killing blow as it excels versus armored units. His unique ability is gets on all fours and shoots its massive sp. I can't finish this. The PMZ 13. This is that friend that you haven't seen in a few years, and when you do finally meet up with him, you realize that he's been working out like way too goddamn much. Yeah, well, when you see him, you preemptively like stick out your hand for a handshake because you know that he's gonna go in for the hug. Like you're you're across the street with your hand already stuck out. You're you're playing it safe because you don't want to make yourself feel worse by feeling his chiseled breasts against your bony graveyard you call a chest. It doesn't fit on my screen, dude. AKA Monsnit, or for you English speakers, strong. It's just, it's just a beast. I mean, what's there to talk about? It's a super tank artillery platform. Deploy it, and you're shooting shots like Kobe. Redeploy it, and you're killing fools like Obi. <laughs> Juan Kenobi. <laughs> it's a killing machine, perfect for any situation. It's, its only downside is getting it from A to B, which might take several light years, so, uh, you know, good luck with that. And last but not least, the PMZ-16. Or the Nishidoko. Wait, isn't that? Hold on. Nishidoko. Translate. <laughs> so the baby carrier. <laughs> I don't know, man. I didn't name these. You ever think to yourself, man, I really hate bunkers. They're so permanent. Well, not anymore, because for a measly 400 iron and 300 oil, you can get yourself a baby carrier. It's your mobile bunker. <laughs> a metal trailer home on legs with a mortar with a mortar pit on top. It can house a single unit inside which can freely shoot 360 degrees all around it. Wait, that's actually pretty good. It's it's pretty fast too? Wait, no. It's faster than the Strashnik? <laughs> I 
All right, well, stay tuned for the next episode of comparing broken mechs when we dissect the Saxony ones. Um, as always, I'm too sketchy. If you like this episode, like it, subscribe it, whatever you want to do to it. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Too sketchy.